Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to, to, you know, The Last Days of Europe. I'm your host, Mr. Mokalov, and right now, we are in episode 6B, in which we are, of course, playing, uh, in the last episode, probably, as Vasily Shukshin, as well as finishing out the content for, um, well, the Russian Federation here. So, I've gone back in time, and this is basically setting us up so that we can do, or set up the future for everyone here. Now, we got some comms to go through, and some of the comms included, you know, you should not return home the Germans, the Baltic Germans, uh, uh, the Volga Germans back home to uh, the Reich and stuff like that. But I'm like, eh, we'll see what happens. The fate of St. Petersburg. If you want to read about this, please, again, please go right ahead. So for this one, there's some support for me to leave the Germans here. There's also support for this part of the campaign to kick them out, since we will be forming the CSTO. I think because we chose the other one last time, it should be Russian once again, I want to do this one. But the Baltic Germans should not be fringed upon. Let them have a collaborator state, which I don't really like, but I want to see what this one does. So, uh, for now, they can have a collaborator state, which, honestly, I don't necessarily agree with. But, Rosal, huh? But just to see what anything, if, like, anything happens there. If the Volga should not be about that, please go ahead. Sweep a hundred years of German settlement and history without backlash. Form a collaborator government. Integrate as an autonomous republic for a sole part of our motherland. We're too complacent with German tyranny. It must be reintegrated fully into Russia. I'd love to do that one, but I guess we'll go with this one, too. Cool. Volga Republic. So, Nikolai Fyodorov is here as well. And now we'll do Fate of Gothenland. If you want to about that, please go ahead. Uh, co compromise with Ostdeutsch, whether they want to or not. Form a collaborative government versus they must be Ukrainian once more, which I would prefer to them if they were Ukrainian. But, oh well. And we can also make Lithuanian the official language of, of that region area down there. So, and we shall... So now we have the Black Sea Reconstruction Authority under Batrokov and the Confederation of Gottenland with Ernst Kohler. Wow, they have definitely a nice multicolored thing down here with all sorts of different ideologies, but whatever. And deport the Germans now, we're not going to the future of Crimea. The Confederation of Crimea gives it to Gottenland. We cannot afford a large scale conflict. Oh. Well, they die anyways. Okay then. And the Kingdom of Romania returns to agree. Agrees to return uh, Odessa. If you want to read about this, please go ahead. Darn it, we all only get a non official pack. We don't get them anymore. God dang it, that sucks. It's alright, though. The future of Ukraine. If you want to read about that, please go ahead. So, it deserves its independence forevermore. Wait, do they? Do we not get them as a puppet anymore? Oh, the Republic of Ukraine exists. Oh, there's still a puppet, which is fine with us. Theodore Baglin. He's a quartermaster general. But let's also do uh, the fellow of Belarus. Bella, 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 Belarus. I know a girl named Bella. I think maybe two or three girls named Bella. So, cool, whatever. Um, at least it's time of this recording. We're trying to cut down, the, uh, cut down the debt. I've cut civilian spending. I've cut military spending. I've cut construction spending all the way down to zero. And if you like to read about that, please go ahead. They'll be free. Absolutely. For now. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, for now. And the Republic of Belarus. Led by John White. A very, very Belarusian name. Now, I don't know Belarusian at all. But that sounds like a very Belarusian name. John White. I think it's also known as White Ruthenia sometimes, but whatever. Yeah, it kind of sucks we don't have our own faction yet, but whatever. We'll get there. Civilian Assertion? No, 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 you want to cut. cut. You want to cut, cut, cut. we got to give a deficit going here. Dawn in Europe. A deficit? Huh. The future of Caucasia. New face of Europe to a hopeful future, my friends. Oh, wait, oh, oh, hold on. Ooh, was I supposed to do that one? Ooh. Oh, whoops. Oh, my bad. I should not have chosen that one. My bad, because it says the focus you have to do the fourth power. Uh, you know what? Let me go back. I made a mistake. I'll be right back. My apologies about that, but I forgot about this middle one changing the focus tree quite literally, which I kind of prefer, like, if we, this was locked behind doing the other two here, but whatever. But we got to make sure the future of the Baltic States and future Caucasia reintegrate these guys and annex them, give the Georgian and Azerbaijanis their independence, Caucasian Republic in the Southern Caucasus, grant them region total independence, we should not emulate our oppressors. Eh, I don't know about that one, but we'll do that one anyways, because we can. Total independence, huh? Caucasian Federation. Cool, then there's satellite, so we can't build anything in them, which really sucks, I think, a lot, but whatever. It is what it is. About the future of the Baltic states, integrate them as a uh, autonomous republics. I'd love to do that one. Baltic Confederation, better unite them with strength. A three state solution works best to preserve their cultures. We could try it. Why not? Let's just see what happens. I kind of honestly prefer the Baltic Confederation, but whatever. Let's see what happens. It'll buy Valdis Berkavs, uh, Alexander Absnenics. And unset. Cool. And now we can do this last one. My apologies about that. Sometimes I get a little too excited or just stupid and I forget things. But what else is new? Yeah, look at... Wait. 
Uh, I don't quite understand. Wait, so we can build in here. You are a satellite or a puppet? What What are you? No, you're a puppet. We can build in you. But you guys are a puppet. No, you're a puppet as well. You're a puppet. We can build in you guys. We just can't build in Ukraine. Okay, well, whatever. And the new face of Europe. If you want to know about that, please go ahead. Down in Europe. So now, if you want to know about the fourth power, please go ahead. Because now, we're going to go and choose on our own. While we appreciate everything the U.S. of A. has done for us in our darkest hours in our struggle against the Reich, it will be in the best interest of the Russian Federation that we conduct ourselves on the global stage on our own. While we shall be more than willing to work with the U.S. of A. whenever interests may align, it's for the best that we stake our own destiny and establish ourselves as the last beacon of hope and liberty for the people of Eurasia. Ah, Eurasia. What a great place to be. Future Nation, if you want to read about that, please go ahead. We must try our own destiny. Indian diplomacy with the Japanese Empire threatening the sovereignty of India towards the east. The Indians would be a natural ally of the Russian Federation. Our two nations both hold similar values of liberty and democracy. And a rising superpower is that threaten to challenge you to the to challenge to Axis or the Axis order of old. They gather the Russian Federation, the Republic of India can accomplish great things and enter this brave new world as a beacon of hope for the peoples of Europe and Asia. We're not getting far with the debt, but we're working on it. We're definitely working on it. Get some sonar, even though now we're finally working on our, our navy and stuff. But I'm not really too concerned about that too much. Yeah, look at that. Oh, so much of a decrease, so much. Diplomatic mission in Sweden about the proposal. Shukshin held his breath as he did a final check of the proposal, one that could shape world history for decades to come. After carefully considering both the Sultan's and Christian's proposals, it reluctantly decided to go with that the latter had planned. What would the future have in store? Would the Americans start to treat themselves the same way they treated the Japanese and Germans? Wapping off the sweat that accumulated on his forehead. Shukshin sighed as he stared at the nearby clock that constantly reminded him of how many hours he had wasted rewriting the speech he was going to give tomorrow, announcing the birth of the CSTO, however. Just as he was about to finish jotting down the final lines of the speech, the president was rather unceremoniously interrupted by Alexander Pokrushkin. Bursting into the room unannounced, the Falcon was grinning from ear to ear, likely so euphoric from his victory against the Sultan earlier that day. Vasily, excellent news! My men have gathered information on the more countries likely to join our new alliance. Easy for you to be said, Alexander. You're not the one who has to deal with all the paperwork, the writer muttered, scribbling something on a spare, spare piece of paper. How could I not be? This marks the end of the decades of Russian humiliation, Vasily, for the all-Russian army will truly be the mightiest in the world. Historians will call this moment the beginning of the Russian century. Shukshin could only nervously chuckle as he stared out of the window at the evening sunset, sure he could make a terrible mistake, and although part of him continued to insist that the OFM was a safer option, the other half couldn't but dream. Couldn't help but dream. He couldn't help but dream of a harmonious world of peace led by the victorious Russia, his dreams, Pokrushkin's dreams, and the populace's dreams. The start of something beautiful, huh? That people Sweden only want neutrality in this increasingly divided world something the Federation is more than willing to respect. However, their association with the Reich is rather alarming. The people are clearly troubled by the government's involvement with the Germans. The Federation can present them, present them to break away from the shackles of the Reich and align itself with a nation that shares the values of freedom and democracy by offering them an observer status with the coming new order that will forever shift the global balance of power. The Collective Security Treaty Organization, which we guarantee the Swedes, all right with us. Happy 79, everybody. Let's grab some 1980 civilian construction. Followed up with some horizontal industrial organization five. Um, honestly, I don't even want you, just because you cost money. There go mediums. Sardom is done. Decrypting, nice, nice. Do we need more decrypting here? Indian diplomacy. A new dawn in Delhi. India was hot, which I bet it is. The air was humid, the sun beating down on you all day. Vladimir was at times wondering how the Indian people put up with it all day. But of course, he remembered that unlike himself, the Indian people had settled and adapted to the warm climate. He admired the Indians' ability to live normally in the heat. Vladimir, on the other hand, preferred to stay inside in the shade, avoiding the outside as much as possible. Minister, uh, Desi, India's foreign minister, was, who was accompanying him, asked, Sorry, I was just thinking. You Indians are rather admirable. I don't think I could have lived here for very long like your people can, that's for sure, Vladimir joked as the two began walking down together to the hallway of the Russian embassy. Yes, you Northerners grew up in the cold, very different from India, Desai replied. So, has your Prime Minister decided, Vladimir inquired. Yes, he has agreed to an observer status with the New Order, as you called it. He believed it would be the most beneficial for India, he replied. Oh, good, President Shukshin will be happy to hear this, Vladimir replied with a smile on his face. The two walked in silence and joined the silence the embassy offered before Desai spoke again. The Prime Minister was interested in discussing Russian investment in India by Sibir and Phoenix. India needs industry, and the Prime Minister believes it, Russia can provide. I'm sure we can work on an equitable deal, Vladimir replied enthusiastically as the two exited the hallway and into an office. The start of something beautiful, international cooperation, but the birth of a new alliance. We are the... Then we are ready to bring forth a new alliance that will forever change the globe, with the people of Eastern Europe behind our great noble cause. It's time to realize the concept that was once dreamed up by Shukshin and Pokrishkin so long ago. In the city of Novosibirsk, 
The place where it all began, we shall officially announce the creation of the Collective Security Treaty Organization. Nice. As I'm hoping, we can just pay off our debts. Because, my goodness, we got a lot of debt. That's a lot of billions. And that's with a B. When, what did the Swedes say? The weather in Stockholm. There were plenty of similarities between Russia and, uh, Russia and Sweden. It was rather cold, even in the warmer parts of the country. The people, however, were warm and welcoming to them. Vladimir surprised, or surmised, that they were just curious. It's been a long time since anyone from Russia came to Sweden, but with the war now over. Things seemed to be changing. Russians were exploring the world that would accept them, and Sweden was a nation which welcomed anyone with open arms. Enjoying the weather, Torsten Nilsson, the Swedish foreign minister, asked as if he walked over to Vladimir, standing beside him. It's cool, but I suppose it should, I should be used to that. Vladimir joked as he shook the minister's hand. Tell me, what did uh, Prime Minister Erlander say in regards to a proposal, Vladimir asked. He called the king about it. They're all on the same page. We're interested in distancing ourselves from the Anites Pact as much as possible. With them weakened by the war, we should be able to break free of the influence of our economy, Torsten replied. And what about the other proposal? The people want neutrality. We can't join, but we are open to maintaining observer status when it happens. I believe they would be much more comfortable associating with the Federation than the Germans, Torsten explained. Vladimir nodded his head as he turned to walk back inside, motioning for Torsten to follow. We should discuss more inside. It's far too cold out here to have a proper discussion about trade. Torsten nodded and followed the Russian foreign minister back into the Russian embassy. Times are changing in Europe and beyond. Very nice. And if you want to buy the next challenge, please go right ahead. The Federation looks beyond its borders, which probably is going to end up with the same thing again, but the birth of the Collective Security Treaty Organization. The Russian Federation, recently triumphed over Germany, has seemingly defied all international expectations with the founding of the Collective Security Treaty Organization, a defensive alliance spearheaded by the Federation, aiming to stop all incursions into Eurasia by the Ionites Pact and the Co-Prosperity Sphere. President Shukshin declared in Moscow that the Russian Federation and her people needed to be in charge of its destiny going forward, seeing that Russia needs to bear the weight of its responsibilities once more. We must be able to take action when it is necessary and to be able to remain neutral without bearing obligations to foreign nations. The Anarchist Pact and the Sphere have not been receptive to the formal entry of another superpower into the Cold War, declaring Russia's recent actions to be upsetting the already fragile global balance. A new order rises. The Collective Security Organization does arise. Oh, Romania's in the Anarchist Pact. Oh, did they, they, did they rejoin? Oh, they might have rejoined, actually, quite literally. Go figure. Well, good for them. If you want to read about this, please go right ahead. This is probably much the exact same thing as we saw in the last episode, so... Um, we'll do the best we can. Uh, I think I've read this one as well. If you want to read about this, please go right ahead. Yeah. Cool. So we'll try it again. Remnants of Armenia. We'll see what we can do. If things go poorly, well, then we'll just do some sticky stuff with console commands. No, not sticky stuff. No, no, no. That's for later. But uh, we'll do some some console command stuff. We'll just put it like that. We'll do console command stuff. No sticky stuff here, Jesus. Send in uh, Russia's monster. Yes, send in the monster, please, 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 please. While well, consumer goods factors goes 50%. Jesus Christ. Spot consumption plus 25%. My goodness, stability goes way down. Holy crap. If you want to forget me no longer, please go right ahead, knowing he cannot appreciate the fruits of his own struggles. Fund the rebels one more time, of course, and I do want to get through all the way through this with United and Free eventually, so. Yeah. Less political power, stability, division, attack, and defense. Nice. Very nice. Exactly what we want to see here. And... Boom. It should happen right now, right? How many days is this? Oh, it's 21 days. Oh, that was 10 days. My bad. So, yeah. Cut down that debt. Actually, we could. I would like to get rid of some of uh, some of this debt, too, here. But whatever. What do you want to upgrade this? Valerie? Valerie? And every time you say Valerie, I'm thinking of Soblin, but... I think I have a problem. I play TNO too much, man. Just another day of work. Cool. Fun the rebels. And then the Armenian Revolution. We'll lose support. We'll lose a lot. Well, actually, we're going to lose a lot of support there. So, if that's the case, totally didn't use Consequence earlier. Totally did not. Why are we still building land forts? Yeah, why can't we build in Ukraine? That makes no sense. And we can't build on the Caucasian Federation, but we can build on the Baltic states and Belarus. Yeah, that don't make any sense to me, man. It really does not. Nothing else there, nothing else there, nothing else there, so. Nice. Nah, 440 billion, not bad, not bad. Fund them rebels, fund them rebel babies, fund them, fund them, fund them. Yeah, who's leading Italy right now? Oh, Scorza, Mr. Baldman. And with Gene Kirkpatrick over here. Cannes led by Diefenbacher. Germany's led by the Baldman Cancer Borman. Oh, there's a comment saying that uh, Himmler dies in 18, no, 18, 1981. So yeah, we definitely want to see that sometime. I'm not sure that's going to be this campaign, but eventually we'd like to see him die and see what happens with him. Croatia's led by Mr. Man in a Hat. 
Hungry is led by a bald man as well. Slovakia is led by some happy dude. And, oh, we've learned about better industrial expertise. Please go ahead. Excellent, excellent. Even though, we're already maxed out. Nice. Serbia is led by some cool dude. And Bulgaria is led by some really looking young guy. But in the Hall of the Mountain King. Set aside the past for a brighter future. Fun the rebels and let it go. Improved carrier holes. Very nice. Cut that debt down, baby. And then we'll do Memories of Poland, maybe? Yeah. Hopefully we win the mountain more. Mountains burn once more. What else is new? Please don't tell me you already lost those. Please don't lose. Push out, please. Please, 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 please. Can you actually send your volunteers? I want to send you at least planes. Oh, we, oh, we can. Okay, that's good. I didn't realize that we actually could. Okay, so you. If you send enough air support, you should do okay. But then again, America tried that in the past and didn't work out so well. But anyways. Um, how many planes can we send? Only 100? Oh, I'll send some uh, casts. I know they're only basic, but whatever. Where it all began. So long as it's remembered, it can't truly be lost. Now, okay, if you want to rebuild this, please go ahead and then rebuild the Polish Home Army. It might take a while here, maybe, we'll see. Keep growing that GDP, man. Keep it coming. Nice. Uh, you will be led by this dude. Yeah, I'm gonna lose instantly, basically, if you do that. That sucks. Some serious lag there, huh? Oh, good God. As long as they can't push in Armenia, that should be pretty good for us. Look at all these things we can build. Holy crap. Should hopefully help out the GDP by quite a bit. Because I'm slowly keeping an eye on Armenia right now, so make sure we don't get attacked and stuff like that. Look at all these stuff we can build. Ridiculous. It's just, it's just a button that says just build all. Just build all. Make it easy on us. Look at all the green we have. So many tiles. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love that we have all these tiles and stuff, but still. That should be good enough for now. Hello. And up there. You'll, you'll be fine going up. And then we'll also do the Krakow Uprising. Let's do monsters. Our eyes to the east first. Well, it's green men. Once more into the reach. Nice. And fight him back out. Crack uprising, nice. You're in force defense there, son. We got plenty of you in reserve, so I'm not too worried about losing you. Nice. They will attack again. These guys should be able to hold here, though. Because these guys are looking pretty darn weak. We'll see. Actually, since you're here, nice. Doing any damage? Hopefully. Um, and then we'll do our brothers in Mongolia. No, I don't want to do that one. I'll save that one for last. And that's with Maklik. They're not at war yet, so we can't say anything. Now they're at war. All right. Wait, we can. Why can't you send these guys volunteers? Ooh, that doesn't make any sense. Um, so we've got to save those guys. What about the Turks? These guys here too. So yeah. All right, I'll see you after you read this and maybe a little bit of that as well. All right, everyone. If you want to read about the Polish Declaration again, please go right ahead. And I totally didn't use cons commands to make sure the Polish Republic still was born. And a common idea. Cool. The Eagles of freedom spread their wings and totally did not get rid of Turkey's uh, uh, army to make sure that these guys could win here too. Totally did not do it. Only a few weeks. Only a few weeks. Totally didn't do that. But yeah, as a lot of you guys did say, 
Um, hey, look, Kira Votigia. Did you guys say that he was like the Pope? The Pope was leading Poland. Is that John Paul II? I don't know his real name, but oh wait, oh this is awkward. Wait, what? Journey to the East. The beauty of language knows no bounds. Uh, why do we own this now? Hmm, very odd. China's best hope. If you want to buy that, please go right ahead. Nice. Well, I guess we might as well integrate Armenia. Didn't mean to annex them, but okay. Whatever. We're going to get ready to send you over to, uh, look at all fun lands of Mongolia. Why not? Why not? Yeah, weird. Hey, but now it's minus 22 billion. I guess it's because we got these tiles too, but still. I don't think we really deserve them. We should have given them to the other group, but whatever. Whatever. I guess we'll take it. I mean, it's not like we can give it back. Like, technically we could, but whatever. Send military equipment as well. Yeah, my clique is going to be kind of a pain in the butt to fight, but that's alright. Legal mark. To understand your parents' love, you must give it to others. Yeah. Gardens of Eurasia. Look at that. Nice. And in decrease poverty, the Tosa economists. Yay! Wow, we re really need these more cons commands and get more PP. Wow. Minus 25 billion. Not bad. Could be better, of course. But not bad. Advanced Battleship Reno's. Nice. 1906 Nuclear Carrier Reactor. Hurts our liability by quite a bit, but it does give you more speed. And hopefully it doesn't cost nearly as much for anything here. Nice. Um, you know what? Since we're here anyways, just gonna do this. There we go. And there we go with the established West Chinese Republic. Yes, please. Yes, sir. -y. Yes, please. Yeah, we're running out of things. Even at, like, literally zero construction, we are running out of things to build. Which really sucks. Nice. Get some resources. We're done all here. Nice. And it's almost 1981. 1980 research speed. Yes, please. Oh. Oh. Why'd it, why'd it go? It left. Okay, so Republic of Western China. Oh yeah, they don't have literally no, nothing there. Okay, so um, we'll have to do Mongolia next. Our brothers in Mongolia. Also, there's another comment saying that, well, don't deport the Volga Germans, but deport them anyways. Himmler dies in 1981. Go market capitalism. And how would the Shukshin path work with the Second West Russian War mod? Uh, if we also use the Ma mod at the same time, or how would those mods interact at all? That'd be kind of cool to think about, so... If you want to read both these, please go ahead. I read them in the last episode, so it is what it is. God, we need an airbase here so badly. I want you guys to take out these guys this time. Go, my tanky boys. Go, go, go. Or are you tanky girls? And again, cutting down your attack and defense probably is not a great idea, but whatever. Go, go, go. Friends in Ulaanbaatar. Rally the nomads, of course, as well. I don't really want to be bothered with technology anymore. There you go. There you go here. I cut him off. There you go. Nice. Make it easy on ourselves, right? Make it easy. Okay, just go yawn. Yeah, on. I'll go there. It's gonna take a while because of all the rivers and stuff. Try to get to Mongo Mongolia. Tibet's gonna be a pain in the butt too, but that's fine. Pretty normal. Rally the nomads. And the Mongolian rebellion. Oh, we need a majority in the Russian Federation thingy. Ah. I hate that thing so much. There you go. Oh, how do we get encircled here? We cut off all the divisions, though. What? How dare you? How dare you? Could you go any slower? Probably. Just get over here fast and you'll be fine. There you go, nice Mongolian Rebellion. Step alive, freedom of subjugation. United and free. Nice, there we go. That's what we like to see. 
Go to Lhasa. Also, for these guys, you immediately need some volunteers, so it needs one division from here. Two hundred, nice. All right, so you. Oh, I didn't send you over here yet, which makes sense, but whatever. Deploy, deploy, deploy. Cool. Hopefully these guys can kill these guys off. I'd probably have to go off screen and destroy them all again, but whatever. Come on. When's the guy going to show up? Come on. Come on. This guy should easily be able to win because since we sent all those all that cast. There you go. My god, you take forever to move. Don't want to do that. 1990 modern computing is very good. United free. After so much sacrifice, the people like it, let's get rest easy. And if you want to read about this one, the new frontier, please go ahead again. Yay. Nice. Um, do we make it? Oh, that's gone too. Great. Strip for the capital. Go over there. Go there. There you go. Alright, so the Japanese are here, which sucks. I'll be honest, it really does suck. It, this gave me actually quite a bit of problems last episode. So... Nice. Wherever they have divisions, we can generally beat the crap out of them. So... New Frontier. And if you put that in a press release, I'll kick your booty. Nice. Oh, new competing systems. There you go. Cut them out, cut them down. I don't know why they're so paper thin, but you know what? I'm not going to complain too much about that. Nice. There you go, big boys. There you go. Much easier once you actually pay attention to the front. Then again, I'm not paying attention up here, but whatever. Wait, what happened to divisions over here? Do we lose them? Oh, we can join the wars. Oh! You should still be able to win without us, but still. Because then these guys will get screwed over too. Did they literally just die there? Holy crap. Here, I don't want to deal with this. Nice. The Gosman up. I'll let others deal with that stuff. Uh, go, just go, grow, grow. I'm gonna be lost in this front. Less than 500. It's pretty nice. Did we? Oh, they won. Not much easier than last time, because I was actually paying attention this time to these guys. Well. We can't join them. Come on. Come on. Please. 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 Please take them out. Please take them out. We want to win this campaign like this. Why are you paying us so... Where the heck are your divisions? Cosmonaut, of course. Alright, Al Callum, back to the drawing board. Nice. And the stars wave, if you want to do that, please go right ahead too. We just have too much, too many civvies. Oh my god, please get him, please get him. Don't let these guys move. Oh my god, why are you literally taking every single tile but the one you need? Why? 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 I'm about ready to go to war with myself. Would that break the game? Doesn't matter. We're near the camp end of the campaign anyways. Alright, we're going in. Look at all the console commands I've used. Yeah, whatever. That's so stupid. We're going to war. 
calling in the Pope to tax some West Chinese or yeah, West Chinese people. There we go. Thank God it's over now. So do we get him or do they get him? Oh, we. Oh, we got East Turkestan. Oh, this was a. God dang it. You're supposed to go over here. The game. So dumb. So dumb. AI is so stupid. There we go. That's much better. Why does it have to be so difficult with these guys? But I think that should be it for us, should it not? Oh, we need to construct the Cosmodrome and the stars away. So it won't be too long either, so. Very good. Ah, the stars awaits, my friends. And they await for Russia. A carving a giant. A prayer spoken in the dark is still heard in the heavens. Yeah, I wish we could have cut more debt down, but I guess it doesn't really matter, you know, too much. I guess we still build more civvies here, but still. At this point, it doesn't really matter. We have so many excess factories. Well, I want to say, I can't wait till Two Box Theory comes out, but is it ever really coming out? Nope. No longer a dream, my friends. And that, my friends, is the end campaign, or end video, for, I like Pacifica, uh, this campaign. I've thoroughly enjoyed it. Now, I did get a little ranty at the end of last episode, and some of you guys did comment on it, like, oh, why are you complaining about it a little bit, Mr. Mocha Lover? I'm like, it's because when I record things at 1 o'clock in the morning, I get really tired, and sometimes I don't want to read so much. I mean, I like reading a lot of the things, especially the stories here, because I love stories. Don't get me wrong. I love, love, love stories, but sometimes I do just want to have a good war and just destroy everybody. Why is Beijing purple now? What the heck? Bro, you lost so badly. But anyways, if you enjoy the campaign, let me know your thoughts in the comments below, but leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. We have the Republic of Western China and then the Republic of China, which is very awkward and weird, but regardless. Thanks for watching, and have a great collective security treaty organization rest of your day.